our students, Brian Proctor, the art teacher, back again in the classroom with another lesson. And this one's going to be an action pose position. I need to start getting back to my action poses. So I think this is number 43, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, there were some things I wanted to say, but I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to say it before another video. So let's just get into the action pose now. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do here is a cold start. And what I mean by cold start is I have not drawn today. This is the first time I picked up a pencil. And usually when I do a, a, a drawing without practicing or doing some sketching or warming up, shall I say, then it comes out a lot smoother because, yeah, I don't know why. I just kind of like I don't care. And it just comes out smoother. So. I've been into watching these car programs, these supercars, and they always do that cold start, as they say, when they start the car up, just to hear what their pipes sound like. So, cold start. Cold start of me drawing. As I say, it just it just comes out a little smoother, or looser, shall I say, before I, I tighten up a little bit. Tighten up a little bit, yeah, from drawing. <sighs> Hopefully it won't go off the page. Hopefully it won't. We'll see. The foot just might. Just be a size seven instead of a size 12. That leg could be a little shorter. I could make it a little shorter. So, what this is, is just, um, and I'll, I'll go over this position slowly once I get this, just to see if it is looser. And this is kind of like a diving position of the guy, of somebody shooting. You see it in the movies a lot, they dive through the window or something. I'll show you how it's done after I draw it real quick. Bring the legs closer together. This is when you're diving, dive through glass or whatever, or just jump, you're jumping in front of something to protect you from the bullets. It could be a, a dresser or a something, a chair or whatever. So I want to ice. Keep his leg close together. I think that would probably be the best thing. Now the, the worst thing is this pencil. Once you raise several times, it gets crazy. It's just hard to hard to deal with. Hard to erase. Keep your mind on what you're doing. It's hard to erase this red pencil, but I like the bite of the pencil. This is with the knee, bring the leg up more. By, and what I'm saying is this, and I'll explain all this later. If I put the knee here, next to the other knee, it would almost kind of look like he's laying down. So to bend this leg up, I have to put the knee somewhere up here. So it's just taking a cylinder and, and tilting the cylinder up more. So I just have to make this a little more rounder. So this is the knee, and it makes it look like it's bent more coming towards you. And then you have the other part of the leg, and that's going to come down. Close to this leg, so now I'm stiffening up again, which, which it shouldn't be. Should not be, because I'm actually carrying. 
ini foot is a little big compared to the other one this is round because it's back here the foot you might see the little heel no it would be out more you see the heel here Like that. Let's see what it looks like in the monitor. It's not too shabby. So now that I have that, let me explain exactly how I came about having this as soon as I mess with this. All right, so let's get another piece of paper, a little thinner piece of paper, and then show you what I did. And I'll come back and I'll detail that, maybe with some music or something, because I don't want it to be too long. Okay, first thing I did is I saw the, the arch, the arch. And if this one comes out better, I'll be shocked of the body. So if the body's going to be twisted like that. I see this other part in my head, and I see that, and I draw that. I always want to start out with the torso, which is the oval. Um, is the torso, is he facing you with center line? Is he, is he leaning down a little bit more? Is he leaning up a little bit more with your center line, which comes right between the chest. So if the chest, if he's leaning up, it'd be there. Coming down, it'd be there. Going there, it'd be this line down here. So you always decide that first. How is your character leaning or turning? So I had him like that. So this, this, same, this same center line is going to curve around too because that's his body. So you have the oval, which turned out to be a circle. And you have the, what is that? That is the... End of your rib. Oh, this little part has a name. So anyway, yeah. Then you have the waist, or as I call it, the tuna can. It's not too, too, um, not too thick. And you have the upside down house. Following this center line here, unless you twist it a little bit more, you can have the uh, like the, the 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 crotch pointing up. But this one's on the same line. Like that, so you have your circle, your half cylinder, like this. And then you have your upside down house, which would be round two. Like that, just upside down house with a round bottom on it. The other leg is gonna be coming around. Now, a leg is straight, but if you kind of bring it up, which is, is, is how can I say that you have your, you have space for two legs right here. This is this is the opening. If your legs were straight down, you have your opening, and neither one of them crosses this space of the other one. This is all this space. This is all his space. So you take that one and you just bring it across into the other guy's space, the other leg's space. It's still straight. You're just angling it into the other space, and then you have your knee, and then you have your other part, your other part, your 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 other part of your leg like that and it kind of gives it that curve look or if you bend it a little bit it could give it a little more curve because this part will bend but that that depends on what you want to do I'm not going to bend it I'm going to kind of have it straight because it is a jump or a dive a sideways dive make sure my camera's still rolling And you can use a little artist, artist um, I don't know, leeway or, or uh, is a, is a better word for it, to actually kind of curve it just a little bit, just a little bit. You can kind of get away with that as an artist. And the foot. And so now the other leg, because this leg came into this leg's space, this whatever right leg, left leg came into the right leg, left leg space, so this is my right hand. This is going to be the right leg. This is going to be the left leg. Okay, so the left leg came into the right leg's space. Drawing this. So that means either this leg is going to go behind it or in front of it or just up in the air out of the way. So we're going to put it kind of... Um, I don't know. How did I have that one? I have that one is in front of it. It's, it is... What am I saying? This one, 
I still left the space in between. I could have had it cross over or up, but I kind of had it since it's, since it's out, it's not affecting it. The thigh might because the thigh right here is the biggest part, but I'm leaving room and I'm doing a cylinder, basically a cylinder. I'm gonna use another piece of paper. Here's your cylinder, like that. So if you tilt that cylinder up, it would be more like this. You see more of the opening and less of the, uh, the length. If I bring it up more, you'd see more, more roundness, like that. And if I brought it all the way up, it would look, well, I'm not gonna say all the way up. If I just brought it just about all the way up, it would look like that. And you see that, let me stop my phone and redo it because it loves to blur, I guess around about the 14 minute mark. It may not look it in uh, after I edit it, but to me, I'm looking at my monitor and it always blurs. So let me, let me stop it and start it again. All right, so that's much better. So here we have this cylinder. Just think of it, this is the front of my cylinder. This is the back of my cylinder, except one thing is gonna bulge out because the legs are the legs are thick as it bends. So that's the only thing, just have it bulge out a little bit. So my knee is gonna be right here in this opening. And then the other part, just like this, if I had another part of the cylinder, how is that? Here's my cylinder. So the other part of the cylinder, this is round. So the other part of the cylinder is going to be, how is that? It's gonna go back. I'm having trouble seeing this at this particular point. It's gonna go back. Okay, yeah, I got it now. It's gonna go back like that. We have your two openings meeting almost, and then goes back. And that depends on how much I turn it back, because if this was straight and this other one was way back, it would be kind of like this. You just connect them with a knee. So this one is here. You draw your other cylinder, let's just say here, and then back. And that's all it is, is cylinders. Let me get a pencil so it might make it easier for you guys to see. It's a very light pencil. Here you go. So basically, cylinders like this goes back like that. The cylinder is here. Curve, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna thicken it out. Just goes back like this. Let's see, and that's the thing is the glare. That glare is killing me from the shine from my light. But you can see it, I'll look in the monitor more. Like that. So if you have those two cylinders and then just connect it with like a knee in here and then you, you round them off a little bit more, give it that shape. Then you can have the foot and because this is a down angle, like this is going down, this part is gonna cover some of the foot. So the foot is going to be, the heel is going to be way back here. And this is like your instep and then the foot, but the foot has to go behind. If I remove this cylinder, part of the cylinder, the foot has to go kind of behind that cylinder like that. And here is your cylinder part right here. So it's going to be like, as I said, it's going to go behind. And then like that. So that's your that's your curve. That's your arch curve. So we go up here to this point. That's your neck goes up, and you put your head because if you're if you're diving, you want to keep your head up. Or if the character is diving, you want to keep your head up to see what he needs to see, what he needs to shoot at, or whatever. Because if you curve and your head is down like this. It's just, it's just not right. It's kind of like maybe you're swimming. You don't need to know what you're, you're um, you know, you, you don't need to know what you're looking at because you're going in this direction here. You could be swimming with your arms out like that, like a Aquaman or something like that, or Namor. Depends on what, what uh, universe you like, the DC universe or the Marvel universe. But since this guy is shooting and this curves goes up, we're going to have the head. Go up to now you can adjust that at any time 
the curve can, you know, the neck, but that center line, you have to stay on the center line, but you can adjust the head at whatever time. So neck, curving that neck a little bit, and then you have that house again, that rooftop, that point is right there, that center line. Then you have your shoulders come here. So what would be better, do the shoulders? Let me turn it up. Turn it up, comes down. And since, let's do the chest here, comes here and here, because if you do this, you'll know this is an easy, I, I stopped doing it, I should be doing this in every drawing. You'll kind of know where the chest curves at, at this line, it curves here. That line, where did it go? Right here, it curves there. So your delts are gonna be here, and that depends on um, how high your arms are, are, how high your arms are. See, this is the chest set right here. So this is going to be inside of your delt from here. Same thing here. Like that. So at this point, you have a, a, a wide variety of different angles that you can put the arm, put the arms at. So, but since this guy is shooting, and a lot of times what I like to do is I like to put the hand where I want to put the hand. I put the hand where I, I, I figure it, it's best. And then from there, you do your, um, the rest of the arms. I'm concentrating on trying to make this gun. And since it's up, you're gonna see the bottom of the gun. Like that, you see the bottom of the gun. which means you're gonna square the hand off. And all these are, again, as I continue to tell people, are shapes. Master your squares, your circles, and your triangles. Then you have, um, have what? You've come a long way from home. I don't know. So this part of the wrist, you have this narrow piece here, this actual wrist, then you have this forearm I guess I don't know if the whole thing would be called a forearm but you have this fat piece it goes down to the skinny piece so what I do is let's just say this is my hand this is my fist so you have this wrist part right here and then you have this meaty piece right there and then you have uh, your bicep that comes behind it or connects to it like that then you have your uh, deltoids, your delts, shoulders, delts right here. And then your chest comes like this. This goes up under that chest piece like that. And you have your ribs back here, your collarbone, shoulder. That's, that is, let's just call it your shoulders, your neck and your head. So when you, why am I hesitating? When you bring that forward, it's just like these cylinders. You're just gonna have one cylinder I always do this small part right here, this part right here, which is this. Then I, because it's facing, if I put that cylinder in here and brought it around, the circle wouldn't be right here at the end. It's gonna come in like that. And that also depends on how much you turn the thing, how, how much foreshortening it is. So if I had it more this way, forgot how to draw a hand for a second then it would be here and this would be here like that it's just it just depends on how much you turn it and then your bicep is going to be here so we have this and all that stuff that you change and you already have this delt right here so you need your um bicep tricep bicep tricep right right here and it's going to be tucked behind that like you just saw it's going to be tucked behind that under here and this has got to come on top of it because this, as I said, this goes up under the chest like that. So here's my chest, it goes up on top of this and then turn like that. Now you can adjust it, I can bend it up or however, I can, it can come down and bend up depending on, you know, as I said, the angle that the thing is being seen, not drawn, seen. But I have this straight just, just because I have it straight. So same thing with this, that pencil, where's the pencil? This is another reason why I use red pencil, it's not a lot of glare. 
it's no glare for you, but for me, it's a lot of glare with my um, ceiling light because I have two fluorescent lights above me. Again, now this hand is kind of weird. It is really weird. And it's, I'm not saying there's no way to connect this, but it would have to be bent up, and I don't want it bent up it's more straight. This hand has to be moved. So, let's go back from the beginning. We have this here coming up here. We have this. We have this. So this is just an oval. This is just an oval with my can in it. And then we have the hand. However the hand is going to be. However I had the gun. I don't know. You have this. Then you have to have room for the, the shoulder. Like that. And then I'll do a quick stupid ink on this one. And then you have your hand. Thumb is in there. That's why I couldn't get it right. The thumb, I had a thumb, thumb wrong. So the thumb, this finger is bent in here. I'm not trying to get into detail with that. And this one, these fingers are coming down. Holding the gun, and I could have used more hand hand room. And then here is the trigger guard <sighs> under the gun, I think, and then the front of the gun. Something to that point. It's upside down for me, so I'd have to turn it to see where I went wrong. And that's a really short gun, first of all. That's better. But now he's shooting up in the air. So this is just something you'd have to kind of work out. You twist so he can be shooting at you. Now, I had my first one was the chin up. You can have the chin down. Depending. Now, if he's looking like if he's looking down like this. Then the gun guns need to be aiming down as well because he's looking straight at you. So why is he shooting up in the air? So you would have to do more foreshortening, which is just putting a cylinder in front of another cylinder, in front of another cylinder, in front of another cylinder. Now, the, the more, the less you see these back cylinders, the more frontward it's being aimed. It's just basically like one cylinder. So if I did this cylinder, put another cylinder back here, put another cylinder back here, put another cylinder back here. It's just, it just determines how much it, that's aiming at you, like this pencil. Pencil straight in front of the camera, and then you start to see more of the side, and more of the side, and more of the side, and more of the side. Once you kind of start looking at it that way, it becomes a little easier. So in actuality, if this guy was looking down, I would have the hand about right here. And then just do my, um, more for shortening. Where's that pencil? Where did I even have the hand? This little rubber piece is good for your, keeps your finger from hurting if you're drawing a lot or writing a lot. And I really can't see that. If I take a marker and I mess it up, it's unfixable. Let's see what I can do. This marker is almost dry. And you'd have some bicep right here. Remember, this is going to cover that bicep. And then you have that shoulder here, shoulder blade, chest. Let's get another one. Let's just throw this away right now. Much better. Collarbone. Chest comes here. Comes up here into that, that uh, delt. The bicep tricep right there, and then there's a hand. And you 
can see some of the bottom of the gun. You don't want to stretch your gun out too far. That would be the same thing. He's not actually aiming it at the right, at the eye thing. But then there could be people over here and people over there that, that, that he needs to shoot at. So it could work depending on your, your drawing. So this one would be here. Always draw the front of your gun first. That way you know where that gun is aiming at. And then you do your foreshortening or your perspective on your box, which is all it is. It's just a box. And then you have your um, foreshortened hand, foreshortened arm, foreshortened whatever, like that. Get that little piece here. Now this part of your, your uh, love handle is gonna be stretched all the way out and it comes in and goes down like that. This part is gonna be pinched because he is he is twisting, so you're gonna have it come up and gonna pinch. That's just like clay. When you push clay together, it's gonna to puff out and then it goes down. But I mean, this is only if the person has no clothes on or has a skin tight, well, has the skin tight suit on, but you really don't want to show that much puff out because it kind of like looks fat. But I mean, realistically, that's what it's gonna be like. And then this, the, um, the what, the hip, it's gonna come here. And then because this leg is bent, it's going to be shaped like this, like that. Cuts in like that and around, and then you have your crotch down here. And this one's going to be your regular shape because your leg is not that much bent. And this leg got a little long on me because it should have been, should have been like, I would say about, right about here. Then you put your knee, the part that meat that covers the knee goes down into the shin and then because that act this little bone goes into your ankle right to the ankle should I say and then you have your foot there same thing here you come around you have your knee knee could be a if when I bend it I just usually kind of use the a what is that shape? I don't know why. When it's time for me to say shapes, my brain just dies. Rectangle here, and then your other part of your leg is back here, down, and then it's going to curve in. Remember, I said because it's turned, you're going to see this piece, not all of it, but just enough, and your foot goes behind it, like that. And then again, of course, as I say, your, your, your point of your neck, like that house, is going to be right in the center. And it comes up, it can curve up, and then however you choose to have your head. You can be looking straight across. Since I screwed that up, let's just do this. He's a stone killer, he is. He's like, Arr. A little more chin lines in his neck and then that there now it could be that this arm of the shoulder blade could have went up a little bit more to scrunch it up here or this one or whatever but we got it the way we got it now your abs are going to come around and follow that line and because of um, the angle it's going to come in a little bit and this one's going to kind of crunch in here and then with this, something people have a lot of trouble with abs, this is going to come around like this. Can you see that? Let me get my pencil. It's going to come around. Same thing here. And then this is, this is going to come down into that, like that. So if you follow the shape of the muscle or the, the shape of the object, like if I do a sphere, it's gonna curve around like this. If it's a flat piece, it's gonna be like this and then turn like that. You, you see what I'm saying? So you just have to follow that and that helps you to put your stomach muscles in wherever they need to go. Provided you wanna give the guy a six pack or not. So it's gonna come out and around, come out and around, it goes deep in, comes out and around. Like so, and then you're gonna have that black right here. And then this curves in like this, but 
we're not gonna get into that much detail. So we're just doing that. And then from this point to your nipple on down, this is where your your um, your rib cage. Just from that to your nipple on down, so your ribs go there. And then if you're, you know, like super cut, then you have those extra set. But I don't do that because it's just, to me, that's just too much. So I think we basically got all that covered. And then, you know, if you're jumping, what I could have done was I could have tilted them up like this a little bit more. And then, you know, had his feet up in the air more like this would be the down part. His feet are still up in the air. But I didn't. And then you can always have the, I mean, if you're doing the comics, you gotta have the curve. I'm sorry, I didn't do the curve. The little motion lines, like he's, you know, jumping behind something. And then if it was comics, you could have some little piece of a dress or something here that shows that he is jumping behind it. But no, we're just doing this, this um, Thing. So if I compare that to this, so I can get it both on camera, let's just do this. No, he's folding his paper. We have that, which is, you know, not too bad. This one's curved up more, which is, is good. The arms, of course, are a little better. This I like this arm. It's, it's more into... Um, foreshortening than that one, but that one's still good. These are close to the same. This one's bent a little bit more. The leg, I kind of like this one. It shows more foot, but, and these are kind of the same. This is more straighter, this is more rounder, which is what you want to go for. So let me ink this in fast motion. Throw a little bit of music up, and then we'll be done with this video.
this one and uh, I actually stopped and then came back the next day because something didn't look right and I ended up uh, sleeping on it and I came back the next day and that's something I tell people if you see something wrong and you just can't figure out what it is but you know something just doesn't look right or doesn't feel right then just stop and then walk away from your picture and go have a sandwich or something and go eat or go eat some some sandwich and eating it's the same thing just get away from your picture for a while and then when you come back you'll be able to see exactly what it is that's wrong but it's something I learned a long time ago to have to do and I can keep fiddling with this thing until I mess it up but this is gonna be it for this and uh, you can also turn it over too. maybe he can like be jumping down off of something or flipping over somebody or flipping up, jumping off, jumping off of something and doing a flip and shooting the gun. But as long as you have that arch, the curve in the body, then you can do a lot of things. It could be just swinging down or just whatever. So yeah, that's going to be it for this. And um, yeah, thumbs up. I always forget that. I should say that in the beginning. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, leave a comment. Tell me something you might want to see or a type of action position that you might want to see or just some information. So the next video is coming up really soon. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.